you gon' say the same when everybody around you change? All right, so go ahead and introduce yourself. What's going on? I'm 4L Jew. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I'm here fucking with my boy on Real Talk. All right, so we appreciate that. Where you get your stage name from? Um, I got my shit by myself. Forever loyal. That's just because I'm a loyal ass nigga. Never cross my slime. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So how long you been singing? I've been singing all my life, for real. But I really started taking it serious probably like April. And I started making my own music. Gotcha. So what happened in April that made you decide that let me really pursue this? My brother, he inspired me. Made me really go hard, you feel me? He like, you got a voice, what, what you doing with it? You gonna just keep walking around the house singing all the time? <laughs> <laughs> you know, keep doing it. I'm like, he like, bro, I believe in you, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, at first I was playing basketball, I was hooping, I had a full scholarship. Nice, okay. Then I just, it was some racist stuff. So I ended up coming home and I started singing. And I, it just took over after that. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up, that's what's up. Who, who's like your inspiration as far as other singers who you really admire or listen to a lot? Melly. He might not, he might not who? sing. Juan W. Melly. He oh, might not, okay. He might not sing all the time. Right. He really, you know what I'm saying? He got that vibe type shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I listen, I ain't gonna cap. I listen to like K Camp. He inspired me, shit like that. Still not a lot of singers there? He, he a singer, he, a lot of, like, a lot of other singers though. Joe to see all that shit when I was younger. Mm -hmm. That shit made me want to sing. Or Kelly even too, it's like, <laughs> hey, you made me want to sing, I ain't lying. Like, you made me want to make my own shit and go ahead and get it going, you hear me? But I was low key spoke, like, I ain't think it would have been a good idea. Got you, I feel yeah, you, I feel And so do you write your own songs as well? Yeah, I definitely do. So when you sit down to write a song, do you pull from like personal experience or just uh, a story you make up? Like where do you get your inspiration from? Some, most of it is some, like sometimes it's personal experience, but recently my music just been, you know what I'm saying, just thinking, fantasizing, you know what I'm saying, where I want to be at, what I you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. But some of that shit be true though, I ain't gonna lie, some of it be true. I ain't gonna lie to you. Some of it definitely be true though, like, I, I, I just said some shit, <laughs> I, I compromise that shit though, but yeah though. I feel you. If budget was not an issue, who would you like to do a collaboration with? Um, I'm supposed to be doing a collab with Fetty Wap. Nice. So, but, um. Was that difficult to set up? No, actually it wasn't. I just DM'd him and he DM'd me back. And I, like, I just sent him like one of my songs like that I posted. He, I see you working, my G, you feel me, with 100 sounds, so I'm like, okay, you feel me, then I ask him, you feel me, what's going on, and he said, you fuck with me, send me the price type shit, okay, I'm mean, gonna get that shit going, but somebody that I want to work with, I want to do something with a girl, mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying, that's up there with a girl, not like, she ain't even got to be up there, to tell you the truth, she gotcha. ain't even got to be up there, Just wait for I don't it. even like doing songs, I don't even want to do songs with nobody big, because I don't want nobody feeling like, I needed them to get where I'm at. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Off right. that song, hell no. Cause I know my voice and I know my songs. That shit gonna pop regardless. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. From where I'm from, that shit is not nowhere. Nobody yeah. get my voice nowhere where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do Even you period in the world? Besides, I ain't gonna lie. I sound like Jacquees a little bit. I get that a lot. But other than that, you ain't gonna get that. You ain't gonna get somebody else sounding <laughs> like it. You feel me? Like, yeah. So yeah, it's all cool though. It's all good. It's all good. It's all but I definitely do a song with like somebody big, like Delaney or some shit like that. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. Do you do you see more of an opportunity being here in Atlanta versus being up in Ohio? Hell yeah. I just <laughs> I just came down here, man. Like Saturday night, I got here like five or four in the morning, and I've been here since, and I've just been running. Here. I walked in the gas station and he stopped me. He recorded Young Thug. And he was fucking with me. He done sent me by like three beats already. You feel me? Like, just like that. Off the strength. I ain't even say nothing to him. I ain't approach him. He approached me. Like, right. you feel me? Like, goddamn. And then I know my voice, so I know if I'm, if just the right person to hear me is over with. I, they have, it's, like, nobody got no chance with me. Gotcha. So, is it gonna be like an attempt to lay me? But I ain't, <laughs> but I'm not cocky, though. That's one thing. I'm humble, I'm a humble motherfucker, I've been humble. Okay, that's what's up. <laughs> is there like any type of future plans to like perform at some of these local venues here in Atlanta or 
What's your? Do you have a game plan soon. yet? Yeah, definitely soon. Yeah, I'm about to take off. This shit about to go crazy. Got soon you. as I drop, this shit about to go stupid. I ain't even got to drop. I just fuck with the right person. It's gonna go stupid. Right, right. Uh, the Dumb, plan like, <laughs> is there a plan to, to release oh, like a mixtape or a full album or shit? I got I got my my EP supposed to be dropping soon. Doing everything, <laughs> nigga, nigga, we we touching basically we touching niggas souls off this bitch. They gonna feel this shit. I'm, I released a mixtape. I just cause I just started singing. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. So I released a mixtape. But it's not on all platforms because of the YouTube beat, so I stole it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. So got you. I really ain't give a fuck about the music. But I, you know what I'm saying? I did because I just wanted my fans to get something, everybody that was asking for the music. Right. SoundCloud and YouTube and shit like that. I got so, you. So I posted that. I got that out there. But I'm about to drop an EP that's going to go on all platforms for sure. Nice. Because it's my producer. As far as I know, you're freshly new. As far as trying to be a singer, what's been the most difficult part so far for you, though? Shit, nothing for real. I, I know ain't nothing been difficult besides getting the right person to hear me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, man, gotcha. Been gotcha. Cool. And how do you define the word success? Success, somewhere where my kids can have some. To live for, you know what I'm saying? Cause I got two kids, son and daughter. They in Ohio? Yeah, uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, but that's success to me. Seeing them successful, cause I know I got to raise them the right way. Right, and right. Do the right things for them to be. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. I tell you. That's being successful to me. Yeah. How can we follow you and hear your music through social media? Um, Instagram, uh, only one dot Jew. Twitter is like King Jew underscore underscore. And then on YouTube is Full LG. Nice. All right, sir, we're going to wish you the best on everything, man. Yeah, I appreciate you. I mean, I'll be my niggas free my dogs out them cages.